I get a lot of interesting comments and feedback on my videos sometimes related to me being Asian. You would think that people would be somewhat respectful. Actually, it's YouTube, so you know there's gonna be some trolls. While most people are actually extremely positive and super inquisitive and they really want to learn, there's this challenge of the small amount of people that are here to troll. Let me give you an example. So a lot of my videos recently have been about the Mac Mini M1, Apple's newest Mac Mini that I am kind of obsessed with. I made an entire playlist about the saga of, you know, getting the right Mac Mini for me and all the little peripherals and stuff. You can already see that I'm getting excited, right? Like I love to talk about technology. I love to share the information with y'all. But there were a couple of those videos that I made, specifically the ones where I was like, I'm gonna return the eight gigabyte Mac Mini because I'm having a lot of problems with it. And you would think that race and ethnicity has nothing to do with that, right? But I got a few comments, one of which was just Ex extremely inappropriate. It actually said, I thought Asians were supposed to be smart. That one was blatantly racist. There were several other negative comments too. Those people have since been banned and blocked and hid and all that stuff because I'm not trying to look at that all day. I'm a person too. Well, I'm half cyborg, half human, but I am at least partially human. YouTubers are not emotionless bags of skin. It's already hard enough just being a creator in general, you know, just the creative process of finishing a video and feeling the motivation to do these kind of talking head videos and to be on camera and to be vulnerable to all the trolls that are waiting in the background or whatever. Like it takes energy to do what we're doing here. Some of the time it comes naturally, but when we live in a system where people are being oppressed systemically, when we live in a racist system, as we have seen with the several recent attacks on Asian people, it takes a toll on me as an Asian person. It makes me think of my Korean mom, who's not with us anymore, but it makes me think, you know, like, what would my mom think about all this? How did my mom stay so resilient and focused and almost like impenetrable when it comes to people, you know, just throwing blatant racism at her. I experienced so many microaggressions, so many obvious aggressions towards my mom. You know, when I was a kid, I would see my mom just witness these things and almost, it's almost like she, she didn't even see it. It's almost like she was just like, you know what? I'm not gonna let that affect me today. Anyone who's watching this, whether you're Asian or you know whoever you are, we all have that resilience to overcome oppression and to overcome people acting a damn fool in our lives. It takes energy though, it takes practice. It takes a lot of that kind of resilience that I talked about with my mom. I really try to channel that in my videos because believe it or not, this like talking to a camera, talking to y'all, this doesn't really come naturally to me most of the time. I really have to get in the zone and like I said, practice that kind of small amount of resilience and maybe a bigger amount of resilience, you know, just to have the courage to get on a camera and to kind of be myself and to be authentic. Beyond just YouTube, I've dealt with so many micro and macro aggressions about the way I look and the way my eyes look and do I speak English and do I know Kung Fu and you know, all these things. I'm not surprised when violence happens towards Asians. I am angry when it happens. I am scared when it happens. Um, I'm sad when it happens because it's not just happening to that person. People like myself see what's happening in the world, particularly targeting towards Asian people, you know, the violence and the oppression and the model minority myth. Like, keep quiet, you're supposed to be smart and stay in the background, Asian person. Like, I wonder, you know, how much do I adhere to that model minority myth by not talking about these kinds of things? But I do feel like it's important to recognize that racism is horrible. Racism is wrong. Racism is inappropriate. It's demeaning, it's unnecessary, it hurts people, it really does. It's not just the racist comments, it's also, you know, kind of the people just trolling the comments and being like, F you, why did you say that, you idiot, you moron, like, negativity, it's like, what, what's the point? What is the purpose of that? And also the question of like, what can people do to combat anti-Asian racism? The big thing that I can think about is to practice anti-racism, not in a superficial, you know, just post something on Instagram and be like, I'm done. I'm talking about practice. Practicing anti-racism is like practicing 
the piano. You're not just gonna wake up one day, post one thing about, hey, I practice piano, and then, you know, you're gonna be a virtuoso. No, you have to play every single day in the grocery store. When you see somebody saying something racist towards somebody else, you are allowed to step in and be like, hey, that's not cool please leave them alone. Or if you have a thought in your head that's like, oh, that was a racist thought. You catch yourself when you have that thought and be like, you know, that's not a cool thing to think and redirect that energy towards something that is more community building, you know, empowering to other people that are struggling. In this moment, there's a lot of Asian people, including myself, that are struggling. And on a big positive note, I mean, I really appreciate everybody that supports my channel. And I just hit 17,000 subscribers, which kind of blows my mind. I also started a Discord channel. I'll leave a link to that in the description. It's available for a week. So be sure to jump on that if you're interested. Thank you so much for watching this entire video. I know it's not the most fun thing to watch or talk about, but I think it's really important, especially right now, to support our Asian community and other Asian creators. Give a little extra love, you know, maybe send them a pizza. You know, I like pizza, you know, DM me. Please send me a pizza, I would love that. Think about how you're spending your time today and try to make the world a better place for other people. That's it. All right, I don't know what else to say. Y'all are amazing. Don't troll me in the comments, please. You're just gonna get banned. Bye.